This is the Tech Podcast Network. If it's tech, it's here. I'm going to show you what Canon is doing in the digital SLR line that I think you'll love for video. You're watching CES 2014 coverage of the Tech Podcast Network. TPN.TV partners include Gazelle.com. Turn in your old iPhone into cash. Visit TPN.TV slash cash. Hi, I'm Daniel J. Lewis from the Audacity to Podcast.com and Tech Podcast Network here at CES 2014. I'm with David from Canon. David, thank you for joining me. Uh, great to be here. This is a fantastic camera. This is the EOS 70D, and I shoot personally with a T4i. And one of the things that I've noticed with the T4i is the autofocus on it. Well, it's just better for me when I'm running in manual focus, but now you've made some innovations with the 70D that help with the whole shooting of video and autofocus. Tell me more about what's new in the 70D. It's pretty neat. The EOS 70D is really a game-changing camera. There's a new technology called Dual Pixel CMOS AF. It allows us to have continuous smooth autofocus all the way through, whether we're shooting in still images in live view or if we're shooting video images in full HD. Pretty incredible. So what does that, how does that work then on the camera? Well, what, what the camera is able to do, when you'll see we've got a moving subject up here in our field of view, we've got a train that's going to come around the track. As a videographer, I'm able to just touch on that train and you'll see as that focus points move around and follow the train, it will keep that focus and keep it locked and sharp. This could be whether it's a moving subject like a train, whether it's kids out running and playing, or any sporting event type subject. It works are incredible. Dual Pixel CMOS AF has really revolutionized videography in a digital SLR. And I know it's hard to see on the video, but what would normally happen, and what certainly happens with the competitors' products, is when there's a moving subject, especially when the, its depth is changing, the camera would refocus along the way. But here the 70D is following the focus so nicely. Yeah, no, with the competitor products, you actually have a little bit of a, you'll see a waver and a, a jump at that point. Uh, dual Pixel CMOS AF has fixed that and not had it as an issue. In fact, we have a new lens lineup called STM lenses. They're a stepping motor. They're a perfect fit for Dual Pixel CMOS because they'll work in steps, and we get a very cinematic type, sharp focus fill. In fact, there's been movies now, that, short movies, that have been shot on the 70D completely using that technology. I have an STM lens and I love it. It is so quiet. I've gone from other lenses, fixed focal length lenses, and the focus is okay and the silence okay, but when I switch to the STM, it, it's just, it's like magic. It's just suddenly it's in focus and I'm amazed at the technology. Pairing the 70D then with an STM lens would make for amazing video. If you really want to take your video production to the next level, check out the EOS 70D. So we'll be right back to talk about the pricing and availability on this amazing camera. I love my iPhone, and I'm sure if you have an iPhone or a similar mobile device, you probably love it too. But you know what happens? These things get updated. And when they get updated, I know you want to upgrade, I want to upgrade. Well, now there's a way that you can do that, and it is a way that you get cash for your old devices. Go to tpn.tv slash cash where you can trade in your phone with Gazelle to get cash back. What's awesome about it is that you lock in at a price for 30 days, and you'll know that no matter what happens, you'll get that price for your phone. So if it's an old phone, a fairly new one you just want to replace, or if it's even an old dead phone, you can recycle it with Gazelle. You've got to check out Gazelle to get cash for your old devices. Go to tpn.tv slash cash. That's tpn.tv slash cash to get cash for your old devices. So tell me about the pricing on the EOS 70D. The EOS 70D is really directed at that advanced amateur or an amateur user. Uh, price point of body only at $1,199. Then there are some other options you'll find around based on what lens selection you get, whether it's an STM or the focal length of it. And those prices vary depending on what lens you get. Okay. And is it a crop sensor or a full frame? It is a crop sensor. It's a 1.6, so our lenses pay off on the, on the zoom lens because we actually get that 60% more reach because of that crop sensor. Great. And when is this available? That actually is available currently right now out in the market. 
great, so go buy it. It's an awesome product, and not only does it shoot great video, but it takes amazing photos, too. It's a camera, so it does great photos. Well, David, thank you very much for joining me. And for the rest of the Tech Podcast Network, I'm Daniel J. Lewis from theaudacitypodcast.com. Make sure to check out all of our coverage of CES 2014 at tpn.tv.